फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट लर्नेड काउंसिल फॉर द अपीलांड इन क्रिमिनल अपील नंबर वन एट जीरो ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एट स्टेनुअसली आर्ग्यूड दैट देर वॉज नो एविडेंस ऑफ कॉमन इंटेंशन ऑफ द अपीलांड्स टू कमिट द ऑफेंस अंडर सेक्शन थ्री हंड्रेड फोर पार्ट टू आई पी सी एंड द लर्नेड ट्रायल कोर्ट एरोनियसली कन्विक्टिड द अपीलांड्स इन वोकिंग प्रोविजन्स ऑफ सेक्शन थर्टी The contention of the learned counsel for the appellant Rajesh Sahu was that there was no involvement of the appellant Rajesh Sahu in assaulting the victim by bamboo stick, and therefore he could not have been convicted for offence under Section three hundred four, Part Second, by invoking Section thirty four IPC. learned additional pp miss jahan supporting the conviction and sentence of the accused appellant and the reasons assigned by the learned trial court contended that the evidences brought on record was sufficient to prove the guilt of the accused beyond all reasonable doubt and therefore the impugned judgment requires no interference by this court i have perused the evidence on record and considered the submission made by the learned counsel for the parties from the evidence on record it transpires that pw1 the informant pw2 pw3 pw5 and pw7 were not i witnesses to the occurrence and they only came to know about the occurrence later on pw5 was declared hostile by the prosecution pw8 was the witness to the seizure by which a motorcycle was seized pw10 was the doctor and pw11 and pw12 were the investigating officer learned trial court essentially relying on the oral testimony of pw4 pw6 and pw9 as well as the doctor pw10 recorded the conviction of the accused appellants pw4 stated that he was the conductor of the bus in which the victim was traveling according to him the victim dullu datta was travelling in the bus after moving some distance accused prakash chohan with rajesh sahu as pillion rider came in a scooter and overtook the bus they stopped the scooter on the road obstructing the bus and consequently the driver stopped the bus both the accused appellant dragged the victim from the bus and severely assaulted him by a stick on being assaulted by the accused appellants the victim dullu datta fell down raising alarm save save immediately he pw4 and some passengers go down from the bus and he pw4 took the victim to the hospital in a motorcycle it was elicited during cross examination of pw4 that both the accused persons assaulted the victim but he had not noticed as to who had hit on the head of the victim it was also elicited during his cross examination that the accused persons also threatened the passengers not to get down from the bus pw6 stated that he was travelling in the bus called ma darshani the victim dullu datta was also travelling in the said bus according to him accused prakash chohan who was following the bus on scooter stopped the bus and spoke something with the driver after moving some distance 
एक्यूज प्रकाश चौहान पार्क हिट स्कूटर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बस अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम देयर वॉज एनदर पर्सन ऑन द स्कूटर एज पिलियन राइडर प्रकाश चौहान इंस्ट्रक्टेड द ड्राइवर टू पार्क द बस आफ्टर गिविंग सच इंस्ट्रक्शन प्रकाश चौहान वॉज मूविंग अहेड ऑफ द बस इन हिट स्कूटर विद द बस फॉलोइंग एंड प्रकाश चौहान आफ्टर स्टॉपिंग द बस took out the victim dullu datta and assaulted him with a stick the victim was taken to hospital by pw4 it was elicited in his cross examination that initially when the bus was stopped the pillion rider of the scooter was sitting on the scooter and subsequently both of them came forward it was elicited in his cross examination that he knew the accused prakash chauhan by name from before but had not known the name of rajesh sahu and had come to know the name of mun sahu from police during cross examination it was also elicited that he had seen dullu datta being assaulted with something like lathi stick but could not notice properly he further stated that he had seen prakash chauhan assaulting the victim pw9 who is another eye witness traveling in the bus stated that the bus stopped at kendu guri as the bus was waiting for a long time he along with other passengers got down and noticed that both the accused persons were altercating with the victim dullu datta the people assembled there dispersed them and he came back to the bus when the bus was not moving for a long time he again came down and found that a person was quarreling with dullu datta during cross examination it has been elicited that when he got down from the bus for the first time dullu datta and when he came down from the bus for the second time also he noticed that the altercation was going on stop